it makes me laugh because it's so ugly it's honestly the ugliest thing that i have on my body hi guys and welcome back to another video today's video is going to be going over the tattoos that i currently have and pricing how much i have spent on them meanings places i got them done artists all that jazz let's just get started okay so the first one that i can see is this one this is my beautiful lady i have not given her a name because you know i don't want to limit her to just a name she's just my good energy happy moods good vibes you know and i feel like when i look to the left <laughs> i could be wrong but i feel like we look the same so i got this one when i was living in london it's not finished i don't know if you can tell but so the style that it's done in is neo-traditional it's so difficult to remember that word and the guy that's doing it is amazing his style and his work is just so cool um, and i'd love to get him to do my whole arm but obviously with pandemic and me now living in ireland it makes it a bit more difficult but all i need to do to finish it is like the shading around like the face and the neck and then i think color in the eye but i think the rest of it is going to stay lines so pain for this it's a one absolutely a one it's just such a nice area to get tattooed i didn't even feel it and it was like i think when i was doing this it was about three hours and it was a breeze altogether it's costing 600 pounds so i'll have to convert that to figure out what that is in euros but it could be something like 700 euro or something like that and then over here we've got a butterfly which was so cute um i really wanted one because I think they just look pretty. I got everything on this arm done from a lady in Galway. Her name is Justine. But yeah, the butterfly, I think it was 60. Paying for this, fine. Um, a three, no, a two. A pain, pain for this is a two. I think it was probably picking up some muscles. I don't know, not that I have any, but. <laughs> you know when you see boys like posing in the gym and they do this? Yeah, I can't even do it because there's nothing there. And then the next one that we'll see is my little my little slogan. So it says hardcore. And I know it might be misleading as to what that could mean, but it's to do with the music that I am obsessed with. It's like my number one passion in life. It's probably something not a lot of people know about me is my passion for hardcore music. I started listening to it when I was about 15, but I hated it at the time and I thought it was a bit like weird. Um, and then over the years, as I like kind of went to festivals and the music just got like faster and faster and now I just love really fast, heavy music. I also think that was 60, maybe 70. Why is it so hard to remember? Pain for this, it was so quick, so a one. So then right here we've got a snake. Um, I don't know what kind of style I'd call this because I don't think it's line work because it's pretty colored in, like it's very dark. I'll be honest, I was looking for something more plain, like that was just line work and it wasn't as dark. Um, so I wasn't expecting it to be as dark as it was, but I love it. I think it really stands out and a lot of people think it looks quite like 3D. No regrets, none at all. This did take a little bit longer and you know when you when the needle first goes on the skin that's kind of breaking the skin so when they have to top that back up and go over it to do shading it can kind of hurt because they're going over broken skin. So hard to go between four and five. I'm gonna say a four and a half for pain for that. I think the snake was 300. Yeah, the snake was 300. How did I forget that? Okay, and then the next one that we've got, so difficult to turn the arm. Anyway. Next one is 222, which is on my wrist. Um, I put that in red because I'm never really gonna have much color on my body, that's my plan, but I do like how red looks and I think this has huge meaning to me. So I kind of wanted that to stand out a lot more than my other ones. 222, any of my well-being spiritual babies um, will know what it means. It's, so it basically means that your manifestations are coming to light, you're on a good path, your energy is great, there's so many other angel numbers, like there's one on one to 999, and there can be any other numbers that you can think of. Um, but it's just a sign of good luck and good vibes and happiness. So whenever I see 222 anywhere, like that's my number. And I love it so much. It just makes me feel like 
whatever I'm doing is right. Even if I'm having a bad day and I see it in the car or in work or something, I just know that something good is coming. So it just gives me hope. And I also got it matching with my best friend. She lives in London. Um, so it's kind of nice that we have something that is the same together when we're not together. It got a little bit sore on the on this area because the bone was there. So I'm going to give that a 4.5 as well. A 4.5. And then we've got this guy which is on my hand. I really like it and I love the design. I think it's like so cute and like minimalist. Only thing is I know I want to do both of my hands and I'm hoping that it's not going to get in the way. They always just say whenever you get tattoos on your hands and your fingers, same as when I got it here, um, because you wash it so much and you use your hands so much, um, it wears away so much easier, which I have noticed I had to get about three touch-ups on it because I kept going back to Justine to get more tattoos anyway. So whenever I was going back, we just topped it up because it kind of went a little bit like thicker in some areas, thinner in other parts. I'm not kidding you, this was a seven. Seven for pain. It was so quick. Um, if I had shading, I probably would have had to tap out. Um, so I'm actually so scared to do my hands on my fingers, but it's because it's right on the bones. Um, so yeah, a seven. Oh, and price for this, I think it was 70. So this was my first kind of bigger piece. This really good tattoo artist in Galway. Um, his name is Anderson. Um, he's done three of my bigger pieces and he's just amazing. He will do so many different styles, which I think is great. He did this piece for me and he designed it. All I had to do was just say I was looking for a surname piece and I wanted something to do with a lion. And he just designed it and I didn't even have any questions. I was like, yep, cool, it's perfect. On the pain scale, like a three. It was not painful at all. What I did notice though, um, and he said when he was doing it, one half of the body is more sensitive than the other half. So I think he did the left first and then went to the right. And on the right hand side, I noticed it was a bit more sore. Um, I haven't really noticed it for anything else, but I suppose it's because it's in the center of my body. But I would honestly say three or a four for the sternum. I don't think it was bad at all. So the price of the sternum was, I think it was 150. Okay, so the next one that I have is the one on my back. I got the inspiration because I just saw a photo similar to it on Google or Pinterest or something at the time and I really liked it so he just did it for me. Pain for the back, at the time I think I thought it was pretty bad, I think it would have been like a seven and a half. Initially when we first started he had me sitting down in a chair so kind of you know the back of the chair was facing me and he was working from here and after a minute I thought I was going to faint and I've never experienced that before. I got so lightheaded and I told him I needed a break, like just a minute in, it was so embarrassing. Um, and then I swapped to just lying down on my on my tummy and that was so fine. So the price of my back was 250. I think it only took about like 45 minutes because obviously it's just line work. The next one would be a palm tree. Um, I got this when I was in America and I was in LA at the time and just saw this tattoo shop and I had wanted to get a palm tree for ages and I just decided to get it in there. I think it was $150. Pain was like a three. It was so easy on the ribs. Um, fine. I know it's a bit lower down, but it was a breeze. And then the one on my ribs here, that was actually my first tattoo. And I feel like I'm gonna get hate for saying this, but I got that done when I just turned 15. Yeah, so I know I was young getting it, but I knew what I wanted and I'm really glad that I do have it. It does have meaning. It's my great granny's birth year. I'm paying for that, especially for my first tattoo, I didn't think it was bad. Probably because I was hyping it up so much in my head because I thought it would be worse, but I want to say a six for that. And the price of that tattoo was 90. For some reason, I can remember that so easily. So the next one is my hip tattoo. It goes from like my above my hip bone to like kind of down my thigh. I love this one so much and I think like it's so cool especially the fact that it takes up so much space and then it kind of like goes a little bit on my bum and then on the front a little bit like on my stomach. I think it's so cool and I honestly I can't recommend enough. Don't go small with your tattoos. Someone said that to me before when I got one and they said you know I don't think you should go any smaller and I did and I've always regretted it since since I ever did that. So I just can't recommend enough. If you're getting something and it fits in an area, just get it to that size because 
it looks so much better this one is a dragon um i think like back then dragons weren't as much of a trend it's literally just lines and a lot of people actually ask me when am i getting it finished or is it finished and i'm like it is finished so the price of that was 300 okay and then we've got the other side which is a rose i don't regret asking for a rose because what i wanted was something like this you know cute little artsy rose we were in holland and i really wanted to get a tattoo and this place had really high reviews so we went there and he said he'd do it for me it was the owner of the shop and he just said that he studied realism and he wanted to do it in that style back then Honestly, I did not have a bone in my body. I wouldn't say no to anyone. So I was like, okay I was so innocent. Honestly, I'm so grateful that I've grown into a strong independent lady I know what I want and I know what I don't want. So if a tattoo artist tries to take control over me again It was horribly painful. No, I wouldn't say it was my worst tattoo to get done but um, I was there for about eight hours and it cost 250 euros when i first got it done it looked quite cool because it was really dark so it just looked like black and a little bit of white it was really sore the next day obviously because we had been doing it for so long again this is the one that i was speaking about i wish it was bigger it's just too small it would look fine if it actually covered the size of my side but it doesn't it just it's like this size it doesn't make sense to me um but now it's literally turned green and blue. It looks like, you know, when you see kind of older people and they have tattoos from when they were younger and it's like, you know, that really faded kind of greeny color. That's what it looks like to me. And then we have got this little quote on my leg. It makes me laugh because it's so ugly. It's honestly the ugliest thing that I have on my body. The font is disgusting. This guy wrote it with his handwriting. Oh yeah, and it says the rest is still unwritten. Ugh, vomit in my mouth get sick all over me kind of quote i hate quotes i think they're so cringy so i have a half sister she's older than me and we got it together matching and i just kind of went with what my sister wanted to get because she really wanted that i love affirmations of course i am beautiful i am powerful i am successful but i just think that quote is so cringy and I didn't realize that that's actually the name of a song, which made me even more sick to my stomach. And I was so young, I had just turned 16. This was for my 16th birthday. I think that one was a, was 100 or 120. I can't really remember, but I'll say 100. Listen, we live and we learn. That's one that I kind of regret, but no regrets. And then the next one that I have, which is my last, it feels like I have so many more, but whatever, um, is my shin and that was my most painful tattoo without a doubt <laughs> i went home shaking like i had to drive home i was screaming in the car on the way home i think i have a video of like me getting into the car and i'm like shaking like this and going ah <laughs> because i just couldn't move but i'm obsessed with this so much yeah, this one is my, it's not my favorite, but I love it. And I love how much space it takes up. And the fact that it's a snake, I'm obsessed with snakes and skulls and flowers and lines and shapes. I just think it's the coolest. I don't know whether I should give a 10 out yet because I'm pretty sure my hands are gonna be a 10 the day I do them. So I'm gonna give this a strong 9.5 for pain. This was the only time I used a numbing cream. When you start, he started at the bottom. I didn't feel a thing, it was fine. And after about half an hour, the sting kind of comes through because the skin is broken and the numbing cream is wearing off. Um, yeah, the sting just starts to seep its way through and that was what killed me because he started on the bottom and was going up. By the time he was at the top, the bottom half of my leg was just shaking with pain because of the like the stinging sensation. So I think it probably would have been better if I didn't use a numbing cream. So next time for my other shin, I'll definitely not use any. Um, but you know, I'm glad I tried it. So job well done to me. And the price of my shin was 250, I think it is. But that covers everything. Unfortunately, I feel like it's a really long video. I've got no idea how long I've been filming, but so I guess that is it for my body of tattoos. I feel like I really don't have enough <laughs> to be filming this video, but you know, I can do an update in a year's time. That'd be pretty fun, and it would probably be way too expensive. But I'm gonna get my phone out and we are gonna calculate. 
how much this is okay final number for how much i've spent on tattoos on my body so far is 2855 euros when i calculated everything back to euros so overall i actually don't think it's that bad considering it's all over my body nearly 3000 is not that bad and you know what i'm grateful for every single one even though some of them i might not like they're all memories and they're all experiences and they make me different to everybody else which is probably one of the reasons why I love getting tattoos so much. So that wraps up my video. I hope that you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching and taking the time out of your day to spend listening to me talk. I hope you did enjoy and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next video.